Hi everyone, this is Evan Revealed, and today we're going to talk about zero latency monitoring with a Pro Tools Mbox. It's very specific. Many of you are probably still using the Mbox, and many of you have probably been told that if you have latency problems, that the reason why you're having them is because your interface isn't good enough and you need better converters and Better converters are definitely good, and you know there are inf interfaces that may be better. Ultimately, none of that has to do with why you're experiencing latency. And the latency that I'm describing is specific, such that when you send an input into your microphone, so let's just say you're recording a vocal, the time difference between you recording the vocal and you saying the word ABC and you hearing ABC in your headphones or out of the monitors, that is latency, that difference. And when you're recording uh, yourself or recording an artist or an instrument, that delay can really drive the session into a wall. Um, so this is a very simple fix. Um, what you want to do is open Pro Tools, as I've done here, and then you want to go to the top and go to uh, let's see hardware yes you want to go to hardware you want to click launch control panel now this is going to bring up the mbox software controls which we see right here now pay close attention to this this is why you're having latency this issue right here so you see this says hardware inputs this says software returns software return is literally saying when i sing into the mic i want the software to return that signal to me and let me hear it and that is what's causing the delay that time it takes for the signal to go into the inbox and come back out to you is what we're going to eliminate. Now, what we want to do is we want the output to be coming from the hardware input. As in, we want the microphone, what I say in the mic, to go straight out of the inbox. Not hit the DAW, hit Pro Tools, get processed, and then come back out via the software. We wanted to go straight out of the inbox. So first, let me demonstrate what I'm describing. So I have a microphone set up and turn my inbox on, record enable. Now I'm going to go back to this. Now watch. Do you see how there's a delay? There's a delay. See that? I snap and then it comes after the fact. That's that's what we want to get rid of. So how we're going to do that, uh, then let me also demonstrate one last thing. I've already saved this preset as recording, the preset that is appropriate for recording with zero latency. So let me load that up. And you're going to see, did you just see that click? So basically, the configuration I wanted was loaded for a second, and then it went away. This is the reason why. Go to Setup, and then you're going to click Disable Host Control. Now, the reason why you saw the software do that little thing when I loaded that preset is because Pro Tools is controlling this software that's the host control so when that's disabled that allows us to make whatever changes we want to the configuration of this inbox which is what we want so we want to click disable host control and then click close and now you see these are no longer grayed out and i can make changes to them there's still a delay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill the software return signal. And then I'm going to turn up the hardware input signal. 
see how that's just like that now these faders over here are still going to show a signal um, and that's fine because we don't hear it we don't care but what we do hear now is the input for the hardware and this is running stereo into the line one you know channel preamp of the inbox such that now we have zero latency monitoring so when you sing into the microphone or play an instrument the headphone out is going to hear ex that ex same exact signal direct and it's not going to impact your recording to DAW or anything so that's really it I would recommend you saving this as you know recording and you know when you boot up your sessions you can go in here and it seems like default is that Pro Tools is going to say, um, you know, you, you know, it's going to default to being a slave to the DAW. Just go in, disable that, and then you can load your preset and then bang, and then you could just have happy recording. This is uh, the cheapest, most effective option to do this. Um, so I recommend you all try it. Uh, other interfaces that are sophisticated should also have similar software, you know, um, interfaces inside DAW, inside Pro Tools. And so you will be able to make those changes similarly. Ultimately, you want soft, you don't want to ever hear software returns. You only want to hear hardware input. Does that make sense? Microphone input, that's what you want to hear. You don't want to hear it going into the software and coming back. Hits too many circuits, comes back 30 to 40 milliseconds, going to kill your session. Um, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment if you didn't. Uh, comment if you have questions. Uh, share with others, other people. You know, rock on. Happy recording.